Welcome back, guys. Oh, look at all, all of our nomads running around with no houses to live in. Oh, where can we live? Where can we live? <laughs> ah, they'll manage. They'll be all right. They'll find somewhere. We do have these um, houses. Ah, see, that they've just moved into. But we've got no... Oh, now they've got heating. I was going to say they've got no heating. How many people are living in here? Oh, quite a few. Quite a few. Oh, lots of young people. Yeah, one or two places... Yeah, one or two places getting cold. But we've got... Uh, yeah, actually, we don't have a lot of stored fuel. But it's a early autumn. I mean, they're not going to—they're not going to freeze to death, so it's not really a big problem. But our fire bundlers are obviously not keeping up with the uh, with the fuel demands. So we, I guess we're going to kind of have to do something about that at some point. Right, let's get over here. I'm stalling, hoping that these buildings are going to get replaced. I've been through this list and got it all sorted out. So we've got our maxed out people in every category. Uh, apart from stone miners, we've only got uh, stone cutters. We've only got 30 of 60, and miners. I think we've got 70 of uh, sorry, 50 of 75. Yeah, 50 of 75. But everything else is maxed out, and we're still growing. We're up to 460 working people now. Oh, we've got. Of course, we've got a disease outbreak. That's not good. That's not good. Should we find where? Where's our diseased, our plague carrier? Um, but you know what? We've got a hospital, so hopefully. Uh, are you on your way to the hospital? The hospital's around here somewhere. It's one of. The, is it, it's either this side of. Oh, it's here. There you go. So yeah, we're not going to have a massive outbreak. Not a problem. Now we've got four people who don't have homes. Yeah, just labourers. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. I'm still stalling, hoping that these buildings are going to get knocked down. Oh, here we go. Now, yeah, there's that one gone. And... Almost. Come on. Come on. Knock it down. Oh, come on. One builder. There we go. Right, let's slow it down to times five again. Now we can start getting this done. Um, so... Okay. Uh, I, oh, I was going to ignore that trader, but if I ignore him, yeah, if I ignore a trader, then he's bound to have something like absolutely staggering that I really should have got. Right, where are we? Here it is. Here's the bridge. So they're going to come over the bridge, and then we're going to have a brick road that runs from the bridge. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. Yeah, I guess we'll have to put it in bit by bit, so I don't put that bit in first and then run this out here and run it up to here okay now I said this is going to be three wide so you know what let's just do it like right now let's put in the whole three wide business and this side as well all the way out here this is gonna be a main thoroughfare into the into the town center now like that could be the town square but I, I want this to be kind of sort of central and I think it's maybe it's a little bit too far over that way I'm thinking maybe it should be here rather than here um, we do have this bloomin mountain range here now how far does that extend is it something that I could flatten and the answer is yeah actually I could right that's gonna go at some point then that mountain range it's gonna have to go it's gonna have to go but yeah, so it means yeah we'll have um, we'll have the town square here. So let's mark this out. Let's do it. So we want. Does it sound like if I? Does it, yeah, it does. Ah, there we go. Yeah. So that's thirty. So we'd actually want to go thirty-two, wouldn't we? So then, this would be thirty-two. 
and then 32 down here boom so that is gonna be uh oh no actually I didn't want to do it like that let's pause it for a sec because uh, what I should have done was done 16 out this way uh Oh, hang on. No, uh, no. I've got. I need an odd number because this because this is going to be three wide. Oh dear! Oh dear! How about if I do it fifteen? Uh, yeah, let's do it fifteen. Hopefully that'll work. So that's going to be fifteen up that way. Now, how did I do? I did it from there, didn't I? Yeah. 15 up there, so we want 15 down this way to there, and then bring that across like that. So that's where our town square is going to be. So I want to take out this, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, so remove road and boom. Okay, now at the same time, I want to get rid of that as well. Okay, right, boys and girls. You can get on with doing that. Now, again, this is going to be the town square. And I want to put some kind of design in here. Some kind of mosaic design. I, I, I still haven't decided exactly what the mosaic design is going to be. Um, I might go with something with a bit of a Greek flavor to it. But we'll see. We'll see. What I am going to do is give myself plenty of space so I'm gonna go two around the outside ow am I yeah. so I'm gonna have I, I, I would like this to be completely open and have like a, a mosaic design and some other stuff going on and then maybe have markets and stuff around it that's, that's kind of sort of what I had in mind. All right. Now, in the meantime, while that's happening, we're going to need to get rid of this at some point. So we're going to need some stockpiles around here somewhere. So, now we've got that little, that little one over here. Well, I think... Yeah, I think we're going to do a bit of do a bit of stockpile planning. So let's put a stockpile in, uh, just a little seven by seven on each side of this road over there. And then now, well, let's do let's have a road going up here as well. Let's let's plan this out a bit. I think. If, if that's possible with me. So, let's see. Now, it's going to be 15. And then 1, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to be... That's the centre. So, this is going to be... Now, apparently not. What? That's... That's 32. I've got it wrong, haven't I? I've got this wrong across here. This is not the same as this. So oh, hang on. <laughs> that is 29. Right? So this should be 29, but it's not. It's 30. Well, that's okay, because all I need to do is put a road down there. And boom. Now it's 29 on all sides. So that's, oh, if I do it from the right place, that's 29 across there. Yeah. Right. So uh, 29... So it should be, 15 is the center point, isn't it? Yeah. So that is the center point. Okay, so let's take a road up there. And again, we'll make this a big road. So like three wide going up here. And then we're going to want the same down here as well. So let's start from here going into into this kind of sort of area-ish like that uh, I think I just missed a trader didn't I did I just miss a trader yeah let's 
go and see. What have you got? Uh, side leak, sugar cane. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to buy the sugar cane seeds. I think we're going to do some... Dude, sugar cookies. We've kind of got it, haven't we? What did I say? Um, that's like two... Was that like 270? Yeah, was. That'll do. Trade. Done. And dismiss. Thanks for coming. Okay. What on earth else are we going to put in so we got that the, this road up here should probably be got rid of now that we've got this this one put in and the same with this road we should get rid of that and take it back over here as well and I guess um, now, this road over here, I'm going to leave in temporarily until we can actually get rid of this and put that in. So, I put those stockpiles in there. We've got this stockpile up here, but I'm going to put in another one. Because we're going to start gathering resources from this area. So, having a bunch of decent stockpiles is going to be like fairly essential, I think. And, like I said, we're going to have to move this. Um, I'm seriously tempted to put in some temporary stockpiles. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to put in four 6x6 six six stockpiles on the corner. This is going to be a temporary thing, I think. I can't imagine that I'm going to leave them there. 6x6, um, six six, there we go. Right, there, there isn't an absolute ton of stuff on here. Um, they'd be able to move it onto there. So I think we're going to, I think we'll just mark this to be got rid of now. We got 21, if I drop the bill or so, 26 labourers, they should be able to move this reasonably quickly. So let's get that done. Let's just bite the bullet and get that done. Remove structures, boom. Okay, cool. How are uh, these barns full? No, good. Oh, so many things to plan out with this new area. Like the layouts of the markets, like how we're going to handle like storage in the town. Am I going to have the businesses and then the houses outside? Or am I going to have the houses and then the businesses outside? Don't know. Don't know. It's all got to be, it's all up for grabs. But this, this is going to be, I think, the 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 biggest town centre. It's going to be bigger even than this one over here, and this one over here is fairly big. Now, I do want to kind of get something done. I, I I'm going to try and blend this into this because, like, this is the countryside. This is fields, and then here we've got a dense town centre. Well, how do we transition from one to the other? And by the way, these um, these colonial townhouses can turn that for, into a tap house, which is a tavern. That'd be kind of cool. We're going to use multi, uh, the the multi-level buildings in the on, on the other side. I'm not going to use them over here, I don't think. So houses, how are we going to transition from this out to? these ones out here well what we're going to do is a mixture so like out here we're going to have some stone houses now am I going to put some hedges along here I think I'm going to put some hedges along there and then this is going to be kind of a back gardeny kind of thing let's let's put it around that way Actually, the one up here, on the one on this end. Let's put in a let's put in a corner building. Uh, if I can actually find the corner one, where's the corner? That's the corner one. So we'd want it. Hmm. Yeah, kind of, kind of like that. So we'll have a hedge, and then we'll put one of those there. And then we'll turn it around and have it just that way. So we'll have we'll have a gap in between these. A gap of one or a gap of two. A gap of 
too, I think. And then... Yeah, no, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, I think I know what I'm doing now. So, another gap of two, and then... Another gap of two. What I'm trying to do is kind of mimic the whole density and, and whatever, so... Uh, I'm trying to put in... Trying to create some sparseness in these buildings. Okay, so we're going to have those like that. Then inside that, we're going to use what should we use? We've got country houses, which I think look more like townhouses, and then we've got the town abodes. So I think maybe a row of the town abodes. Now these, we're going to put closer together. We're just going to have a space of one in between these. Like this. Again, trying to create that effect of having increased density of buildings as you get closer into the town centre. We'll see. Well, I mean, we'll see when these get built and we'll see if it, if it achieves the look that I'm trying, trying to achieve. And I think, you know, um, stone houses, let's go, let's, uh, should we use these country houses? I must admit, I'm kind of sort of tempted. So, the country houses would go like there, I think. There. Okay, so let's put the country houses in. And these, I'm going to put two together, and then I'm going to leave one space. So, two together, and one space, and then, ooh. Now, am I going to continue that road down here? I think I am. So, you know what? I'm going to put in a, um, I think I can squeeze in a, can I squeeze in a town about? I can squeeze, yeah, I, yeah, I can sort of squeeze in a town about there. And then, what we'll do with the roads... I hope this is I hope this is gonna look good when I've done this. So we've got that there. So Oops. So we can run that down there. And run that through there. And we'll have a road going down there. We'll have that. We'll have that too wide there. Um, this may end up being three wide. This road. I'm kind of looking at it and thinking, yeah, maybe, maybe. Now that's quite a fair number of houses to throw in at one time, and we've got a bit of a population boom going on at the moment. We've got 120 kids. Uh, I do kind of need to be a little bit careful because we could suddenly find ourselves with a major food shortage. So we should probably think about getting some more food sources going on. But I, I kind of wanted this to get done. Uh, I really want to see what this is going to look like. So how did I do this? I put those two together and then there was a gap, wasn't it? Yeah. And then two together and then a gap. That. So that means there's going to be a road going down here, like that. Now, do I do I put roads in between those? I don't know. I might put roads in between those. And then out here, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I was talking about putting some hedges in. Should we put some hedges in? Let's put some hedges in so that we can actually, like, when this is done, we can see, like, what the hell it's going to look like. So, we want a six-wide hedge, don't we? Now, that's got the end bits on that we want. Yeah. Yeah, shall, shall I use a half hedge? Uh, yeah, let's use, um, let's use a customizable, and we'll put in a half hedge. That's a half edge tip, half edge straight. So, uh, 
This is the half hedge tip, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, oops, uh, let's put in that there. Now, how are we going to do this? Um, do I leave like a, 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 yeah, I think I'd leave a gap. So we'll put one there and then we'll leave a gap. And then, oh, we'll leave a gap there, and then we'll leave a gap there, and then gap there, and like that. Okay, and then, so that's the. That's the that's the hedge tip. Then we want the half hedge straight. And we just plop, plop all these in. I hope this is going to look nice. We'll put some trees in as well, to like in these areas that we've got, to to try and try and create that feel that I'm going for. And if it's successful, we'll do this in other places as well. Because because I want it to look cool. This whole build is about, it's not about min-maxing. This whole build is about trying to make this place look cool. So this is, this is a big test of whether we can get kind of a blending in of, uh, of buildings from the countryside into the town. Now, this side over here, there's way too many trees in here. We need some roads to actually, like, thin this stuff out a bit. Because it's it looks a bit silly at the moment, so should we do a bit of um, do a bit of roadage? No, I'm just going to use dirt roads, I think. Although I, well, I think I just put a, I just put a dirt road in somewhere. Yeah, it'll get it'll get sorted out eventually. Um, so like like there, that's going to be dirt road. Uh, I'm just wondering if I'm going to have like a a brick road running through the middle of them. And I think we probably should have a... Yeah. And it's, and it's probably going to be too wide as well. So... Like that. Okay, so let's slap that in. Now that's going to get rid of all of those trees. I think we're going to probably keep some of these trees in at the back to separate the, the bakers from the mills. And again, like in... Like the way I'm blending these buildings in, that's going to provide kind of a a break between the the town buildings and the country buildings. Um, over here, we can put some houses in. I'm I'm thinking maybe a couple of country houses and, and then three town abodes or something like that. It's kind of kind of what I'm thinking. Where's the country houses? Let's put a country house on the corner. Oh, oh, what the hell's... Oh, I've put that road. There's a road in there. There's a road in there. That, oh, I did it again. Escape. Yeah, I, I put a road in there that I didn't mean to put in. Uh, what do I want? I want road removal, don't I? Yeah, let's get rid of that. There we go. It was when it's when you rotate the map, when you release the mouse button, it takes it as a left button click and puts stuff in if you've got something on the cursor. Um, what the hell was I doing? Oh, I was doing. Oh, I was putting those houses in. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember for a change. Right, so I was going to put in like a house on this corner, and then we'll have. Maybe give them a couple of spaces, and then we'll have a house there. Right, I'm going to let those build before I put in the town abodes behind, because I want to kind of judge this and see, should I put the houses in behind, or maybe like have a little, no, maybe some little gardens or something, or... But we need some of these trees to get removed, because it'll make a, it'll make a pretty huge difference. 
And like, I'll probably put a dirt road down between these build buildings and get rid of these trees. But it's better to do it kind of bit by bit rather than just go mad and remove everything. Okay, these are getting built. Once we get these hedges in, then we'll get a, like a bit of an idea of how that's going to work. But I actually think that that's going to work. Because you, you've got the, the difference in height and the difference in the style of the buildings and the difference in the density of the buildings. I think that's, that could work really, really well. Let's go and check this trader. Strawberry, corn, red mulberry, walnut seeds. Mm. I don't think there's anything that I want out of that. Do I want corn? Do I like, like, you know what? I'm going to take... Uh, actually, I don't even know if I've got corn seeds. Let's pin her. I, I've got a sneaking suspicion. Like half of me saying, you bought corn seeds. And half of me saying, no, nah, you didn't. Corn. No, no, I don't think I did buy corn seeds. No, I haven't got corn seeds. Okay, so we'll buy corn seeds. What do I want for corn seeds? Three and a half thousand. Three and a half thousand is going to be like... Um, two... I don't know, like 230, something like that. Uh, pretty close. What, 235? Uh, too much, actually. 233. Oh, one more. Or I could use some reeds. Yeah, let's use five reeds. So, 234. I need to remember that in the future. Okay, trade. We just bought corn seeds. And where are the corn seeds? There, there's corn seeds. Alright, cool. So that's another another seed, another seed type that we can plant up. Be interesting to see what they look like. I really need to start planting up some more fields because our food is getting low. Like worryingly low. And with putting all these extra houses in and stuff, that's kinda not good. It is late summer. I'm actually gonna pause the game while we put in some crops. Where am I going to put some crops? Well, we're going to start using the new area over here, I think. So, I think maybe up. Uh, you know, maybe this, maybe we'll utilize this area over here for now. And down here. Uh, some of this stuff's going to get moved around, but... Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Well, what are we going to put in? We're going to put in crop fields. And there's going to be a fair old few of these guys. So strap yourselves in. How many cornfields can I put in? And we're going to do... Now, that road, that's right. That's There's going to be a centered road coming out there. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that too much. So, yeah... This kind of I can mess around with this at a at a later date. So let's just let's just start by putting some crop fields in. So eleven by eleven, and eleven by eleven. Then we'll leave a gap, and then we'll have an eleven by eleven, and yeah, yeah. So I'm going to leave a gap. 11 by 11, 11 by 11, and 11 by 11, and we're going to keep, like, yeah, I think we'll just keep kind of doing that. Like, do I, do I have a space for a barn and stuff? Uh, you know, I might leave a space for a barn. Yeah, I might, I might do that. So, 11 by 11, I'm going to leave a space and I'm going to have a barn in the middle of there. And then we'll do an 11 by 11. Here. And I know that I've got a gap down here and I haven't got a gap here. That's quite deliberate. Um, but I do want a gap there. So, 11 by 11. 
and 11 by 11, and oh, 11 by 11. Um, those have still got to be cleared. That's okay. Now, am I going to do? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll do another another row of these. Oh, 11 by 11, and an 11 by 11 here. And you know what? We'll do another row. Like what the hell on this side? I told you I was going to put a fair few of these in. Did warn you. I did warn you. So eleven by eleven and eleven by eleven, and finally. Oh no! Didn't get that right. Eleven by eleven. Boom! All right, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to have um, we'll have houses and barns like around, but I wanted to have an area in the center, and I'm thinking of taking this one out and having some big barns in the center. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'll take that one. Take one out. I might put some houses as well. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, roads. Let's put some roads in for these poor folk. Uh, and we're gonna I'm gonna use I'm gonna use brick roads uh, not for any like special clever reason but just because just because I am I wish I could give you a clever reason don't have one don't have a clever reason not even gonna try so let's put road across there and right across there now this may end up being like a whole temporary arrangement, um, or it might end up being permanent. I might look at this and go, yeah, I really like that. I, I don't think so, to be honest, because uh, I think I'm going to want to put um, hedgerows and different types of roads and stuff like that in, but we'll see. We'll kind of see. Um, now, obviously, I could slap one of these magazines in, but like, do you think that that would work I don't know you know in this like you know in the middle of a whole bunch of fields having a couple of these like might not look incongruous good word huh incongruous uh, where's the uh, come on spin around yeah I mean we could put and the, the annoying thing is that they actually fit perfectly <laughs> God Oh, do I put a couple of these in? You know what? I'm going to put a couple of these in just so you can kind of see. Because they they really do stand out. And I'm just not sure. I like it, but we'll do it. Maybe just for this area. So we'll put that in there. Okay, we're going to need a road down here, down the edge. And let's take that road to Okay, right now we're going to need some houses for the poor farmers. So let's put some houses in for these guys. Uh, wooden or stone? Wooden or stone? I think we'll go with stone houses. Let's uh, spin this around. And I think we'll have some down here and some down here. So let's do like... Oh, now, am I going to... Yeah, it kind of doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. I was, I was trying to say, gee, should I go too wide? or It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter for now, because I'm pretty sure a lot of this is going to change. So... Okay. That's, that's how we're going to do it, then. So... Oops. What I put in was um, one and then a gap... And then three together in the middle, like that, and then a gap at the other end. But it's the spacing is different. So uh, how the hell should I have <laughs> done that? Because I've got an extra space. How do I distribute an extra space? There isn't an easy way to do it. Okay, forget it then. Right, having done that, right, now we can get um, some crops going. What are we going to put in the crop fields? I don't know. 
I think we're going to have... Um, we are going to definitely have some tomatoes. You can be tomatoes. You can be tomatoes. And... You... And you can be tomatoes as well. Now, what else grows well? Um, watermelons grow well, don't they? Yeah. And field mushrooms and field onions. And we can start thinking about getting some sunflower and sugarcane and whatever, but I think those two should be done on plantations rather than crop fields. So I think we'll leave those for now. So let's do, uh, we'll have a couple of watermelons together. Yeah, that's another watermelon. And then we'll have um, some, some onions, some field onions, and we'll have some field mushrooms over there, I think. Field mushrooms, some more field onions, and what are we going to have in here? Um, let's have some more watermelons and some more field mushrooms. Right, that is all we can put in for now until these others get built. Let's take the game off pause. Cha -cha -ching. Right, we need some more farmers. Oh, and you know what? I need to change all of these to, to, to one farmer. Oh, man. Ah, I, wish, I wish there was a place where you could actually set what you wanted as the default for these. Because, man, to go around and individually change each field, it's a bit of a nuisance but hey if that's the worst thing about the game then it's a pretty damn good game isn't it uh, okay and boom boom all right i think that's all the yeah i think that's all of them so how many more farmers do we need another 11 farmers now another 11 farmers oh oh we've run out of people Ooh, okay, that's kind of not so good. Let's go down here. Um, we can take a few stone cutters. And we can take a few miners. Where's miners? Yeah, let's, let's take the miners down to like 30, I think. Yeah, let's take the miners down to 30. And then let's get these farmers up to 51. Boom, area 51. See, it's just farmers. It's not aliens. Area 51 is all about farming. Right, uh, what the hell am I doing? I'm wittering on, aren't I? Right, take it off pause. And let's see. Is anybody going to do anything? Yeah, uh, oh, are, are some people actually going to kind of come out here and maybe build some stuff and farm some stuff? And Oh, now, I didn't put the barns in, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. I put these in. I put these two huge storage things in I might put a couple of other barns around the outside and whatever but I kind of want to see how this looks when we've got it in and see is this kind of a design that I would like to use or replicate or adapt or adjust or I don't know I don't know oh, we'll find out Oh, let's go and uh, let's go and have a look. Now it won't have moved on along a lot because I've had it on pause, but I do want to see. Now, not quite built, and we've only got five builders, so I think we should probably allocate a few more builders. Let's crank it up to fifteen. Let's see if we can get some of this stuff built. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's have a bit more, probably a bit more roadage going on. So, definitely might. I, I'm trying to decide if I want a second row of road along here, and I think it. Yeah, I think it's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it's got to be. Okay. Yeah, we, de we definitely need some, need some trees in between these houses. How are we doing with the bakers? Now that we've put those roads in. Have those roads got... 
Yeah, those roads haven't got built yet. I, you know what? We might have run out of bricks. I wonder if we've got any bricks. Because I've been putting in so many brick roads. I mean, we haven't got a, like an unlimited supply of bricks. Let's have a look. How are we doing for bricks? Uh, inventory we want. Bricks. Bruh. Bricks. Oh, we've got 2,000. <laughs> okay, that's not a problem. We've got loads of bricks. Okay, we're down to 27,000 food. Hopefully, when this new farming community starts to get going, and this is just going to be one of several of these that we're going to put in. Uh, hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll get our food going back up again. I, w I, I would like to get our food look, I've got in the hundreds of thousands. Because we're starting to get to a fair old size now. What are we up now? We're at 450, 550, 650. We're at about 770. So we're, we're closing in on a thousand people. We're going to be there fairly soon, I would think. A lot of people, a lot of kids becoming students. Um, a lot of people being born. We need some of those students to become... Look at that. Look at all the kids becoming students. My God. We need more of them to become labourers. Oh, but we just had a whole bunch of people dying of old age. We're 109 students. Okay, you know what? I think we'll leave it there. You're going to have to come back for the next episode to see, um, to see how this looks when it gets built. And, uh, and to see how the town square looks, or at least this part of the town square, when this all finally gets put in. We're still waiting for these, uh, still waiting for these. And... But I think, like, I think it's not quite finished yet, but I think that that really works. What do you think? Leave me a comment. Let me know. I'll catch you for the next episode. Peace out, guys.